Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks Plays Transport Fever. This is episode 6 of our beautiful River Delta map. And we are today, uh, our main focus will once again be cargo. Because in the previous episode we have done some cargo business expansion and I'm not exactly 100% sure that I did it the best way. It is improving, but I'm still not 100% sold on it. So, to be on a little bit uh, safe sign, I'm now just going over the map and inspecting what the hell was I doing. So, I have started to ship grain and cows uh, from Oakham via the uh, Oakham terminal, and by terminal I mean docks, all the way to Brearley, and in Brearley I have started to um, basically convert them to food and then distributing them onwards and upwards. Okay, so that's what I've been up to in the previous episode. In this episode I plan to actually replace all of these carts with a train. So there will be a train station put in, starting here, that would be going all the way, well, first initially, it would be going to the docks, because I think that these carts are horribly inefficient. Then, if it assumes that it is, uh, it becomes profitable, the train line and everything goes well, business will be expanding, then my second plan is to extend it all the way to Brearley, and I mean Brearley Commercial, so, well, not the commercial district, but to the Brearley food plant. So the idea would be to ship all the grain and cows directly via the train to the, so, food plant. Okay, we are also in loan, pretty deep in the loan, but uh, still I think these changes, what we need to do, are important because otherwise business won't be growing, so yes. And uh, this seems like a good spot to be plopping the station. We want a two-track station, 240 meters. We don't need a second street connection because it's, you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a station for good, so we don't need the passengers. And let's uh, let's take out a loan, and then we will be building and plopping our station in the best position possible, somewhere around here. I think it would do nicely. Okay, do I like it? I don't want a curve station. In the previous episode, we pre episodes we have been putting curve stations. Okay, committed. Now, uh, oh, hold on. Did I just put a passenger station? Oh, I'm a goddamn idiot. Okay, sorry, sorry guys. I mean, I have put a passenger station over there. Well, I'll correct it later. I'll let it stay for now until I fix the station here. First, we are running out of cash, so I do want to be actually <laughs> building a station and connecting the road here. So, medium country road, and I want to be the station in the catchment area of the port. Otherwise, we l are losing the business case. So, too much slope, too much slope. Oh, it takes too far out to get you properly aligned. Come on. Hmm. Somewhere here in the middle, perhaps. Okay, that might be done. That might be doable. It is steep, but I don't care if it's in the catchment area of the of the port. Then it's fine. And as you can see, we already have a couple of ships waiting, because um, and this is the part of the problem. We have a bunch of ships waiting for goods and these carts are not being able to deliver on the amount that we need. Oh, look! And we have OPLM220. Is that the Mallard? I'm not sure. I'm gonna check it later. And we get a steak car. Okay, cool. Okay, it seems that unable to align terrain. I think I will be able with some smoothing job to place a station here, so let's try. 
first let's do some smoothing. High strength, smooth extraordinaire, on the job, yes. We definitely need some smoothing there. Okay, now we'll, let's see. If everything is so smooth, will the placement of the station will be smoother? Let's check it out. Okay, we have the good station this time. Good. Then 200 meters, two, 240 meters and two tracks, yes. I'd like to extend it a little bit more. But I don't know if it will be still in the catchment area. I hope so. Now let's keep it like that. Can I? No. Could I keep it here? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's bulldoze this. Let's see if we can get a, actually a road closer because I'm worried that uh, we won't be able to actually drain the train station would wouldn't be in the catchment area of the port. Can I take it a little bit higher? No, yes, maybe. No. Let's see if we can get it like this. Come on. Okay, this looks like it could be doable. And I'm thinking now the train station could be working better, so. But it's now too far out and it's too much curvature, unable to align terrain. Hold on, if I curve the station itself. Yes. Oh, and I think this should be doable, hold on. Unable to align terrain. 1.20 million, wow, that's a pricey station. But if I place it here, it's 200k, so it should work. Hmm. Can I somehow rotate it or... Ugh. Can I place it over here then? Construction not possible. Ah, there it is. Construction is possible. Thank you. So, if I have placed the road here, will it still be in the catchment area of the port? Well, it is in the catchment area of the terminal, and yeah, seems like the port roads are changing color. Okay, great. Then it means that I only need to smooth out this area, what I have just been lovingly constructing. Yep, yeah, sorry, nothing to see here, move along. Okay. Great. That means that I could actually, and let's apply some smoothing job over there. Let's, yeah, let's have it looking as if the, it was intention all along to have the roads here. Sure. Now let's put up a curved station in a way where it would be just continuing along the terrain. So if we ever want to continue with the train station following onwards to Brearley, it would we would have the capability to do so. Something like that, actually. I think that would be very doable. Oh yes. So let's see. Something along these lines, maybe. 450. They get the cheaper price quote, no. Oh, this is too much on the side. Well, I think, oh, one ball. No, I think this would be right. 205, hold on, I think I saw cheaper. 397, oh, now you're talking. 388, am I happy with it? Hmm. Let me think about it. Can I get it cheaper? No, 390, 378. 50366 too much curvature come on come on you can do it 
stop fighting me. 381. Sold. Whew. I know it could be a little bit cheaper, but I don't care. Okay. Now to replace my stupidity and put a regular train station. Terminal, of course, non curved. I mean, the straight one works pretty nicely here, actually. So let's just turn it a little bit to be placed where the old one was. Terrain alignment collision, come on. I had it just now. Oh, and... Yep. Here we go. I think this is the good placement. Cool. And it is a good station this time. Sorry, guys. You know, sometimes I just don't know what I'm thinking. Now, let's have a row, or let's lay out the track. And I'm thinking even to have it here adjacent to the road. Why not? Can I just lower it? No. Then it would we would have this gully, which I don't like. Hmm. I think I'll need to move this road, by the way. I'm thinking maybe I should actually start from this station because, yeah, it needs to curve and it needs to go all the way there. So let's see how it the track would look like in the first place. I'll just connect it directly and see that we get the price quote. I mean, yeah, terrain alignment collision, of course. 691, well, we can do cheaper, for sure. But we need to remove that section of the upper road and this intersection. Yeah, we will move them and then we will be reconnecting them later. So where's my favorite tool in the whole wide world? Bulldozer, yes. Here, you are going away. You two and you three are going away. Okay, time to connect this. Oh, there is another section that I forgot to remove. Sorry, sorry. Bulldozer on the way, coming along. Move along, nothing to see. Now I removed a little bit extra just to be on the safe side. Okay. Now, let's connect the track. 690, 290, see? Ah, this is awesome. I like it build okay second one 132 acceptable build awesome well that's it now let's build a diamond cro oh what did I just do did I put a ballast instead of track Okay guys, I have gotten a mod that puts uh, like a track ballast, which is actually just laying the foundation for reserving the spot. And I have apparently placed that instead of the real track. Now, like I said before, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's just fix that. Because yes, we have too much money, we have money to spare. Ugh. Okay. Standard track this time, please. You know, what they say, three times the charm. 369. Yeah, it's even more expensive than it used to be. Success. Yeah, let's borrow. I want to be on the safe side to ensure that I actually can borrow. And I'm maxing out my loan. So I'm a little bit worried if I'll have enough uh, cash to actually buy the freaking train. So we could have a higher maintenance, but without the train. That would be just peachy. Come on. Don't fight me, game. Okay. We got it. 528. I think I need to put in the depot. Let's just connect this medium country road. Uh, what's your problem? I take away this as well. Now. Yeah. Connect until here. Good. See? You can do it. Then take this one. Oh yeah, this is the this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you, game. 
Can we build actually something a little bit little less crazy? Yeah, for example, something like that. And then just connect it here. Exactly. This would allow my uh, actually road services to continue on even if I run out of cash, which I think will happen rather quickly. I mean, my lines are more or less profitable. It's not that anyone is giving, generating a huge, you know, a huge loss, so... Yeah, but I still need to redo them. Because this um, goods is horribly inefficient. It's just generating costs for the ships waiting when ships could actually be shipping real goods. Like cows. You know, that was the whole point of our previous episodes. Cows on the water. I don't know if that means fire in the sky as well, but... Well, poop in the sky at least. Okay, so... um, Yes. Where was I? Ah, diamond crossings. Well, I don't have too much money, so I'm thinking even of, you know, let them be and just buy the freaking train and let it be on its merry way and start making me some cash. Okay, depot, turn it around. Place it here next to the train station. Just rotate it ever so slightly and connect it to the minimum. I'm not gonna even be putting the diamond crossing here. Yep, that's good. Now let's create a line. New line. Oakham. Two. Oakham North. And then we have, let's call this one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oakham. Hold on, let's correct this. Oak. Cow, grain, port, R for rail. Yes, oak, cow, grain, port, rail. Because it's completely simple and intuitive, of course. So, train depot. Um, let me see if I can buy. Yes, we have, and I want to change this to full load. Any, yes. Since we don't have too much cash, I'll just buy one train that will be carrying both grain and cow. So let me put something cheap. Um, shall I go for the G3? No, I think it's too pricey. I think I'll go for Borsig. I mean, it's a little bit older tech, but I mean, its running costs, costs are cheaper and it will help the traffic pick up. So I think it will save some money for the cars as well. We have only 800k, so yeah, let's keep it low. Oh, and we have gotten a new vehicle, the Landauer. Okay, I'll get back to it, sorry. Now, what I need is... What I need is goods wagon. Let's put four of them, and then let's put the open wagon. Oh, shit. I don't have money. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to sell some wagons, I guess. Hmm. Come on. Let's sell one and buy one and buy two. Okay. Three, two. I think the most important part is actually to get this train rolling, so... Come on, can I get the cha-ching from any of my trains? You know what, I'll sell one more cows because, I mean, grain is pretty much waiting there, so we need more grain rather than cows being shipped off down to the port, so yeah. Okay. Let's just get it out of the way and have it running. Okay, and when we're looking, let's see how the 
you know, how the route looks like. It's only a short and it's two, two cow wagons and three grain cars. And it's a short route. We don't care the fact that it's a short route, but the, th the fact that we don't have to use the horse carts. Because those are inefficient and slow and terrible. At this moment I'm not even caring if it's drying on the left or on the right, I just wanted to make me some cash because my loan is maxed out and I'm really worried that if, it, if, if this gamble doesn't pay off, I'm gonna be bankrupt. I mean, still we have our horse carts going up and down, trying the best they can, but I mean, let's face it, the time of the horse and cart is almost out, it is 1891. We should be replacing them with more modernized trucks, vehicles and all that jazz, but even they don't have enough volume to just now ship everything. The only thing that can pull things like that is train. Even if the train is powered by a little dinky locomotive known as Borsig. And I have deliberately put full load any because as you saw, cows are being shipped off and the grain is waiting, so otherwise it would be waiting for a full load of both and I want to uh, this actually to set things in motion, so that's why I said to full load any, full load any, sorry. Good. Just fill all the, you know, all the carts and be on your merry way. Okay. Okay, let's take a look from this perspective. How does it look? Looks kind of nice actually. Beautiful countryside. Really love the map. I cannot stress that enough. This map is just awesome. Okay, while we're watching this train, I'm just sifting through my lines, trying to figure out if there is anything I'm missing. Yeah, oh, grain cow port, we have lots of horse car and cart. That we will be soon replaced. I'm hoping to get another train and I will be able to then replace this, hopefully. Okay, well, looking from this perspective, this connection is rather good. First three packages of grain are coming now and hopefully that should be enough to fill one boat. If they don't, I'll just ship one of them merry way because that one could be probably waiting still for more, you know, cows. And in that, or livestock, in, and if that's the case, I'll just be flipping it so that the train, the grain actually boat could continue. Let's see. Oh yes, and you can see the amount of grain being put down to the docks, great. Which means the next ship, actually, ground fork ship Kustha, will be able to pick it up. Awesome. Okay, now that the train service is set up and will be running regularly, I am expecting the food business to be picking up rather nice. Hopefully getting us out of tight spot, because I see that the money is increasing, which is good. And then onwards, I'm, th I'm actually planning to extend this line all the way up to the Brearley factory and then 
these ships will not be so you guys who have your ships don't worry I will reassign ships to rather distribute goods to the various cities rather than actually except Oakham of course there will have the train that would be bringing the goods back I mean because the livestock and the goods wagon are one and the same so But first I have a plan to actually sell a couple of these horse and carts because they are so slow and inefficient. So yeah. And we still have a whole metric crap ton of um, you know uh, grain and everything waiting at the truck depot and that's not something that I want. So I want to be deleting that line as soon as possible so that they utilize our new and flashy rail service. I'm trying to find, by the way, some empty horse and cart to ship them off to the depot and sell them, hopefully. I might wait just until I get a brand new uh, train and now we already have the cash for it, so I'm actually planning on actually getting that second train and to get when we before we get the second train I plan to build a little bit of the infrastructure so you have what you have 22 grain okay you're going on a brearly cow grain bulk okay sure then we have Brearly cow and grain bulk. Let's just check the statistics. We have like four ships on it at the moment. Ground fork ships, Dan Peterson, Kustha, Phoenix Dunes and Veruk. Good. And I guess I'm waiting for the next grain delivery train. And you are on the Cockermouth food bulk. Okay, and how does that supply look like? Looks decent, I'd say. Okay, uh, I'll turn one of the ships around because I think I'll need more ships on the upper part of the stream. Not so much on the Cockermouth because there is not, nothing to ship yet. We have to now get that whole huge volume of the stuff and get it down back to the... I'm just inspecting the passenger traffic. Well, it is a lot of people waiting, so I do expect to be making some money at least. At some point I will be actually connecting Winchcombe all the way to Oakham. But uh, to do that I have to replace the trains first with the... Uh, uh, so that they are all of the same technology and once I get that then we will actually be um, putting all of them on the same route and calling it, I guess, the main line or something like that. So, diamond crossing, and then we'll be putting a couple of signals, because I don't want my trains to be, you know, overlapping. One thing, that, guys, that I'm really missing, especially for the cargo services, if you have a double-sided platform, and there is the ability that uh, a single line can use multiple platforms. I think that should be in the station's configuration. I would suggest it to the devs if you can, please put it because, yeah. Otherwise, I, as you will see now, I will actually create two lines because uh, I want both of the trains to be on, uh, on the station at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna be putting a signal here, signal there, and signal opposite, somewhere here. Great. And there is our Borsig train going up and making us some cash. Beautiful. So I'll actually now create and... Uh, this one has mixed cars because it needed to serve, but I think the next one that I'll be creating will actually be uh, dedicated ones. So, 
let me just have a look at this. Yeah. Oh, I have forgotten to connect this uh, bad boy back. Okay. Does this look good? No, it does not, of course. Uh, this bridge looks like definitely an overkill. I have forgotten completely to connect this... What is this? Like, goods factory or something? Something like that. Can we prop it up? Something like that. Steel bridge. What's with the lump at the beginning? Hmm. I don't get it why it's going on a lump there, but... Okay, I'm game. Okay, let's see. Yeah, something like that, something like that, and let's commit it. And connect it here. Road all the way up here, 229k, that's acceptable. Okay. I think that's a problem solved. Now that we have signals, do we have the correct line usage? I hope so. So I think it's time that we actually purchase a second train there. We have cows over there. Okay, so. How much you have? You have, okay, you have almost a full load. I can repay a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll wait until the next time the train comes because then I need want to return that train and create two dedicated trains. I'm happy with the way these good services look, but I think I'm missing. I need one more ship. So I'm gonna buy one more ship actually. And I'm gonna put it on Brearley to uh, on the upper part of the food chain. Let me just rename it. And you will be named Groundworks Ships Ship Alex H. Yeah, Alex, as you see, I haven't forgotten. You are getting your own ship. And it is convenient because I have no other ships coming in to pick up all those cows, so yes. And as I see it from here, the majority of the goods or the grain and cow is still being transported or waiting at the truck depot. So I'm thinking actually of phasing that one out completely. I think that would be the better case. Now we'll get our saddles the second train. So Borsig once again and this time I'll just take a single type of goods which I think it will be in this case I think it will be the goods and I'll just put two three four can I put four or actually I'm actually thinking a mixed one so let's put it on, yeah, let's put it on the same one for the time being. I mean, I'm not gonna be putting the dedicated ones yet because these are making me enough cash. So let's put the, you know, let it ramp up a little bit and then maybe I'll just replace them. You're waiting for a signal. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually thinking of creating a new line, yes. So let's let's uh, have 
have them running dedicated actually. So we will be all Oak Cow Train Port Rail Alpha. And that will be for the first train, while the second one will be Oak Cow. Pretty much same old, same old. Oak Cow Grain Port Rail Bravo. And I'm gonna be putting that second train onto the second one because I wanted to use the second platform, but first we need to actually put the station. So Oakham and Oakham North. Okay. So you we will be putting on the Bravo. That's the idea, I mean. So let's see now if it would be working properly. We have a couple of cows waiting. Okay, so first things first, you, second train will wait until the first train switches track. Correct. And the moment it clears, you will be continuing on to your own dedicated station. Uh, this looks good enough to me, actually. So now we have two trains, which will actually supply a lot more, I guess. So I'm now just trying to see the route with ships. Uh, you have 15. So the route with the ships is picking up, but not enough, as you can see. And for example, this one is actually picking up some food. It is using the line and production is increasing up to 50, but still, well, it's too far downstream to actually for us to be seeing the results. And briefly, we have a lot of passengers for the Malcock line. I forgot to rename that one. Okay. It should be Melbury, actually. Our trains are well distributed and they have a lot of actually... For example, this one is actually full load and continuing with a lot of passengers still remaining. So if I had enough cash, what I would want to actually do is actually buy more trains. Yeah, for example, two, 42 passengers still waiting. That's one more train per se. Okay, but there is another one coming pretty soon. And another one here. Looks like they're pretty well distributed. Yeah. Okay, and then we have some older trains running here. All the way to Winchcombe. Sure. Sorry for a little bit of flybys guys, and I need to inspect my map just to make sure that my services are truly running in a peak efficiency. Because the point of this episode is actually optimizations and making sure that everything is running as it should be. Meltem looks okay, Cockermouse looks okay. Well, yeah, and the Cockermouth Exchange, we have nothing waiting, but soon enough... Oh, you are also empty. Ground Fork Ships, John T. Well, what the hell are you then coming to Cockermouth? Uh, you should be going back. Just go reverse and go back to the upper Breerly, because there might be even some goods waiting. I appreciate, you know, you guys, you know, schlepping left and right, but, I mean, you're, you aren't schlepping anything. Okay, it seems that the food is picking up. We see a lot more food waiting at the docks. 
it's still not as much as I'm expecting it to be, but it's increasing and that's a good sign. Okay, so we have a total of 15 of lice, livestock, 15 out of 50. Payday, yes, great. Hmm. So, and clearly this food processing plant is doing better, so... Okay, let's see how is our upstream traffic Oakham. I'm actually thinking about... Uh, we have a lot of ships on the brain... On the Brearley cow grain bulk? Not in the brain, I mean... I have no idea what I have in my brain at the moment. Okay, grain, yes. So, grain 23. What I think is that those two trains are too small. I would like to increase them in the size. I'm just waiting to get up some cash rolling. They are doing what they're supposed to. And at some point I want to basically completely kill off the horse and cart. At least for the distribution of food. And actually get those trains to be only way of distributing things. And also I'm thinking there we had a forest and we could use uh, the forest to distribute to basically get the wood here and then we could take it to the sawmill where we get the planks but I have to identify where will those planks be converted to something more concrete. Here we have actually a planks up near the Brearley, I guess. Yeah, I'll worry about that a little bit later. Right now we're a little bit strapped for cash. Not too much, I mean it's improving, but still. Yeah. Lots of cows waiting. Seems that the trains are doing its job. Or their job, sorry. Yes, as you can see, still... I mean, it's a lot more grain waiting at this depot than it is on the freaking rail station. Oh, that has to change. Yeah, the production is going up. No upgrade or downgrade schedule. That's good. Now. Okay. Oak grain cow port. You guys. Get yourself sold, will you, please? All of you. Good. And then I want to remove the line saying to everybody in a simple way, okay, there's no longer gonna be any service running. The service is terminated, so please transfer all your goods elsewhere. And by elsewhere, I mean to the trains. You know, I mean, I do it reluctantly because I know that some of the, some of the actual shipping st stuff will be killed off, but sometimes you need to kill your darlings. Okay, grain will be coming soon. Where is the next ship coming? Oh, it's only there. Oh boy, I think I'll need another ship. Yeah, exactly. As I've uh, added two trains, that removes the stress on the upper part of the distribution and moves it down to the lower part of the distribution, so I actually might need to buy another ship. And if the ships uh, won't be able to deliver this in time, then I will be actually ex extending the rail due to south. For the time being, I'll buy another ship.
and I will put the name of one other of my subscribers uh, ground fork ship let's see whom I pick today I don't have any requests but yeah actually I could put asymmetrical recently I got some useful comments so thanks so very much for your comments I always appreciate them and yeah great oh this horse and car take forever no wonder why my goods uh, services was or my food business was in crisis the trains are way more efficient you see how much just replacing all those carts with two trains how much they impacted the business I think it's just incredible And the carts are coming in and being sold, which is beautiful. I think what I'll do, I think I'll upgrade my trains to be a bit more dedicated. Oh, and we have still these guys waiting, of course, because we still have the route. I have to delete the route, yes. Delete the line, please. Bump. Hopefully that would basically get those guys at also Oakham Depot sold. I will be putting those in the corner and yes, now no longer food is being waited and I could actually remove this one just to be absolutely sure. Great. Yes, this station is not coming back, that's for sure. Okay, now it's up to these trains to deliver. And I will be upgrading them, sort of. So let's take a look at the trains. Because I think that's the next order of business. We are now, we now have enough cash. So we actually can replace those trains. But they are not too old, so I cannot replace them using the replacement tool. I heard that it will be coming in the next patch, you know, replace now, that, which would be awesome. And it would be immediately applicable here. But, yeah. Right now I'll replace them via the depot. So you, sir, are an empty train. And the moment you pass that crossing, I will be reversing you back and sending you back. Yeah. Okay. Depot. And you, the other train, you will first unload and then you will be going to the depot. Okay, I'm waiting for you at the depot when you come in. I think I might even take the Prussian. Okay, so we have the train in the depot. Uh, I'm actually was thinking Prussian T, but it's more expensive and not better, not faster. So I'll taking the re this Prussian, and I will be replacing the goods wagon with the open cart, open wagon, and I think I'm gonna put eight in total. Yeah, I think this will be great. And then I'll take this Borsig and I'll be also sending you back to the depot, sir. Come on, depot. And that other one I will be converting into uh, the actually livestock. So we'll be running two dedicated lines. One will be the livestock, another will be grain. Because I think when you deliver like a full train load, then you can actually have be supplying a ship completely, so the ship would be able to pick up much faster. So that's my reasoning anyway. Okay, first things first. We said, okay, we'll be replacing... Hold on. Let's kick the grain train into motion. And let's be killing off these two. We'll leave this wagon and... Where is my Prussian? Here it is. Three. 
and five more to buy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And then you, we will be putting on the cow grain portrayal B. Bravo. Great. Okay, so now we have two dedicated trains which are all running on their own line and I think I need to just rename them so first we'll be renaming you so you're no longer oak cow grain port rail whatever but you are the only so let's first put you like oak grain port and we no longer re need rail because you're the, pretty much the only supplier and uh, to indicate that we are grain, let's put something more yellowish. It's not exactly a grain color, it looks like, more like a taxi color, but I'll take it. And the second one, it will be... Oh, I need to rename it, I forgot to press enter, but I pressed escape. Yeah, okay, fixed. And you, sir, will be a little bit more brownish to indicate that you are faring cows. And you will be renamed as well to the Oak Cow Port. And no, the rail not be. Great. Awesome. Now, that's what I had in mind. So let's close it. And we have enough cash, so hopefully these two trains will go up and earn us millions. We are still not utilizing, of course, the full length of the train. We will be doing that once the services pick up. And the farm has actually increased, I believe. It has upgraded. It looks much cooler now. Yeah. And you are waiting for more livestock. Rest assured, my friend, once you come, actually, you will be getting enough of cows. Okay, I think the road depot is has done its work. We are actually shipping even some food. Great, that should kick these um, trucks into gear, I'm hoping. I don't have many, I have I believe just two, but they're delivering enough food, so yeah. I'm always checking down this river to see I mean, I want to be continuing with my rail services going all the way up to Oakham, but uh, for the time being, I think it's more important that we get this goods or food set up properly because that means that both Oakham and Brearley will be expanding, so yes. Upper Brearley, yes, we have some food waiting, great. That means so far we have done a pretty good job uh, of it. Now, I'm thinking actually getting a Getting a train service all the way to Brearley would actually be a really good idea. Because these ships are, yeah, they're good, but they're slow and they pay every so now and then. Hold on, you are here? Where's my other train? Oh, it's already on the route somewhere. Oh yeah, it's somewhere there. Yeah, 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 it's over here. Cool. And it's carrying livestock, so I think this ship waiting for livestock will soon get its load full. Yeah, you are waiting for livestock and then there's another ship waiting in tow. So when the train get, gets, delivers, gets delivered, or train delivers the cows... Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my English. It seems like I've broken my English. 
I mean, it was never great to begin with, but still. Okay, and the ship is ready to set sail. Great. Because there is another one waiting, and I think the, sh I think the ships will now be picking up pretty nicely. So I actually think that my business of improving the food uh, chain is definitely better. I'm just gonna be turning off the running costs, they are annoying the hell out of me. And the good thing about having this port is even once we actually, you know, put the train here, we will be still able to run port business like for other things, like, I don't know, wood and something else. Lots of raw materials in this area near Oakham. Okay, we have a little bit crowded here. But we have two ships coming in that will be picking up stuff and when we get the bigger ships I think this will be working rather nicely. I'll have to figure out later on a way how to get this stuff all the way up to Meltham and Winchcombe because they're so far out, it's incredible. Or maybe this will be supplying only in the north part with some other stuff supplying the south part. That could be also doable. Okay guys, but I think by watching this serene footage uh, I would like to wrap it up for this episode. Please like if you like Transport Fever, like if you like this episode and hit subscribe for more Transport Fever that will be coming on soon. Until the next episode, thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks signing off from somewhere around Brearley.